Right, good afternoon. It's just about afternoon on Friday, 3rd of May, and I'm not on my beach, but I'm actually on the Dumaguete Promenade down at the bottom end, the southern end of it, and if you look here, there is a spear fisherman chugging his way towards us carrying a white float with him um, two, two uh, uses for that one is if he spears a fish and wants to carry on fishing he'll attach the fish to it the other is if he gets tired he will um, put his arms around it and rest on it for a few minutes so we're lucky to see this actually very lucky and it's coming our way Children. Um, my friend Gary, who's, uh, who does the same, he uh, always goes out with a partner. Good idea. And I think they're coming home, they're coming ashore. They might get a chance to chat with him, or maybe not. Uh, he's just looking around. Very lucky I uh, came here. What a lucky time to come to catch these guys and show them to you <coughs> wearing a full red suit the guys who do this um, spear fishing here wear all the gear it's better gear than I've got Gary keeps inviting me to go out with him but he li they like to go a long way out and uh, whilst I can swim very well and float very well in this sea I'm not so sure I have the equipment to match there to look at what a view we've got of this guy. Big, big fool. And I'm sure he's got a spear gun. If he's not, he's after um, sea urchins. So I thought the season has ended for them, but we'll see. And here comes the other one. We are so, so lucky to catch this. Now, this promenade goes all the way up uh, to Roxas Boulevard, the famous Roxas Boulevard. Um, comes all the way down to the fishing village here and then to what is I think a river uh, oh he has a spear or oh, has he? we'll find out Gary goes out with this very long harpoon gun thing I think this guy's collecting either sea urchin or conch which apparently are master up delicious but uh, I like the shells so um, Roger my deaf and dumb uh, sea scavenger he will give me the conch shells I will give them to Eric who will eat anything under the sun and when he's done that pulls the creature out and eats it um, I will <laughs> boil the shell in um, bleach and washing liquid because if you don't get all the body parts out of it or even the small residue they stink after a while yeah these guys are in the professional gear but I'm not sure what they're trying to catch I thought the urchins had finished but maybe not he may be going after conch or something like that He's not steering anyway. Yeah, he's got a proper wetsuit, camouflage wetsuit. Hopefully they'll come up and show us what they've got. The other guy also doesn't have a harpoon. Pretty good shot of this guy. So, so lucky to catch that. Uh, he's going for shells or uh, maybe urchin, but I haven't seen any urchins around. <laughs> Let's say I haven't trodden on one recently. That's an experience. We'll walk out a little bit there. Maybe they'll come out of the water here. I'm sure they will. We'll have a word with them. But this is, if you see the shanty town over the back there, that's the fishing village. Now, when, when they built this promenade, they 
actually blocked the fishing village uh, and their boats off from the sea. They built these two boat ramps, but um, you know, I think they could have done a little bit better, better and built a canal or something to get the, the boats out because, okay, some of the boats are small, but some of them are not so small. And someone said to me, oh, that's all right, they've carried them. Well, I'll walk a little way this way, and you'll see why I don't think that carrying them is a very big option. And if you see, we're coming up, it's like a lake there. They could have, when they had all the diggers and everything, they could have easily have dug a canal from the fishing village just down to the river. Or, I'm sure it is a river, but it's, you know, also a runoff of store water. Um, my friend Roger, the deaf and dumb, partially sighted. He normally sea urchins, but go for octopus, well anything you could sell and eat, basically. Well let's go and annoy these people. I come here for a coffee every day. They're not open, but they, they always give you, uh, let me buy a coffee. Packet coffee, of course. They'd be surprised, because, well, I, I don't mention the camera, you won't notice that. Madang Jan Umaga! He's busy with his phone. He's one of the cooks. They open in the evening and uh, serve all, all sorts of good stuff. Now, if you see the contrast between rich Dumaghetti and not so rich Dumaghetti, this is it. This is the fishing village, which is now cut off from the sea. Someone ought to tell the fat cats who uh, do these things that um, actually it's fishermen feed us fish but they don't arrive on the plate without someone actually going to get them. Now Roger lives in this one here which is a bit of an upmarket shack, shack I should say. You see the difference in all the modern houses and these houses. And you might say, oh, you're walking off, leaving your helmet and gloves on the lip there. Well, they're stupid there. That's one thing I would say here. People are generally very honest. You have criminals as you do in any society, but I've never had anyone try to steal my bike, yet I leave the ignition key in. Oh, someone will prove me wrong one day. But uh, I'm going to walk a little along a bit further and you'll see the Chinese church. There is another ramp beside that goes into the Canal Come River. And uh, it was, it was, that's where I broke my telephoto lens because. I thought the place was all shut up and an old guy said to me, oh just walk along by, beside the canal and climb the wall. So I did that and the telephoto fell out of my bag and broke. <laughs> Someone else said, you know there's an entrance the other side of this place, <laughs> if you go down a little bit further and through another fishing village, not, not even a kilometre, there is the gate and it's open. <laughs> There we go, that's good old David following the wrong local advice. So it's hot as Hades today. No sign of rain. No sign of rain even on the other islands. We'll be getting it. It's just going to get hotter and hotter and I think we'll go, if we're not already there, we'll go way over 40 today. But my philosophy is not to worry about it because there's nothing you can do about it. So I don't. And I'm the mad Ukrainian who walks out of as it mad dogs and Englishmen that go out in the midday sun. Just got used to it. I spent a lot of time in desert and tropical countries and I just don't bother letting it 
get to me. Oh, hang on a minute, I think someone's painted the church since I've been here last. They have indeed. There's a big Chinese community here and this church um, sometime we'll go in there and it's very very nice as well. Yes indeed, they have paint. Or have they? Hang on, I'm looking. Well, it looks, yes, they've painted the church. How dare they without asking me? <laughs> oh really, I, it's only... Cracky, they've done that quickly. I was here a couple of weeks ago. Don't come here all the time because I'm fixated with my beach at the moment. Bell Church, that's what it's called. Uh, we're not going to walk around there now because they have to go around to the go around to the road, go, go across the Iron Bridge and then go further down if you don't want to climb the wall um, through the, the other, the second fishing village and in through the open gate, it's open all the time it's very large Chinese, Filipino Chinese, Chinoy as they call called, um, community here And they're, there's a bit confusing, they're Christian, but they have all sorts of Buddhist and the Taoist, and you can see, unfortunately I can't zoom in here. They, it's just, um, probably they just cater for all the religions that uh, Chinese believe in. But we will do that. My goodness, they have painted it completely. We'll do that. Uh, on another trip because I am on a mission today I've got to go to the bank uh, hopefully my pension is in because I've run out of money again okay. here you are this is I'm sure it was a river but it's now a canal bell church maybe because there's bells on it <laughs> It's a church with bells on it. Um, very well patronised and supported by the Chinese community. Oh, Chinoy, Chinese, whichever you like to call it. Oh, okay, so that was a bonus. Let's go back and see. I'll just pan round at this fishing village. The kids aren't 